As Halloween nears, the anthropologist in me has so many questions. Why sexualized costumes for women? Why candy? And what's the deal with cats and witches? My cat's pretty sweet, but for almost a thousand years, cats were considered agents of the devil in Western cultures. Cats haven't always had this bad reputation. In ancient Egypt, they were worshipped and protected by representatives of Bastet, goddess of fertility and motherhood, depicted with a woman's body and a cat's head. Killing a cat was a capital offense. In addition to their contributions as mousers, they may have been considered domestic pets. Later, cats show up in Norse mythology with connections to the female goddess Freya, associated with fertility and death. Some sagas describe her cart being pulled by two large, dark cats. Things seem to change in the Middle Ages, and is very clear by the 1200s at the beginning of the Papal Inquisition, when Pope Gregory IX, convinced that cats were evil incarnate, formally declared them to be expressions of heresy. So why the fall from grace? Many point to the rise of Christianity and derision of all things pagan. As Christianity spread throughout Europe, Many elements would have been considered threatening to this new worldview. In pagan contexts, cats were associated with powerful female goddesses. Medieval and early modern Christianity was dominated by an overwhelmingly male priesthood with a distinct misogyny. Women were considered the weaker and more imperfect sex. Eve is evidence of this in the interpretations of original sin. Connections to fertility and sexuality deepen the prejudice against women. They were portrayed as having insatiable carnal appetites, in need of controlling lest these temptresses use their sexual charms to bewitch and subvert men. These dangerous qualities, we are told, also predisposed women to witchcraft. Women had long been knowledge keepers in the use of plants for charms and medicines and the magic of birth. Christianity defined this as witchcraft the devil's work. Cats seem to embody the most threatening characteristics associated with women. Female cats are sexually promiscuous, something that the Egyptians admired and celebrated by associating cats with the goddess of fertility. Cats are also generally less obedient than dogs. This lack of deference and failure to acknowledge human dominion adds to their negative portrayal. As witches' familiars, Cats were thought to help by offering blood or whiskers to spells, or maybe even being the shape-shifting forms of the witches themselves. It was believed that on June 24th, St. John's Day, witches could turn themselves into black cats to carry out evil deeds. This led to unspeakable animal cruelty as black cats were burnt in pyres, with onlookers believing that they were witnessing the defeat of the devil. The connection between witches and cats was so clear by the 1500s that cats were often considered evidence of witchcraft. The fear of guilt by association and being rounded up and burnt at the stake outweighed the potential benefits of feline companionship, and humans increasingly distanced themselves from cats in the domestic sphere. By associating cats with the devil and misfortune, the medieval church provided the European masses with a sort of universal scapegoat, something to blame and punish for all of life's perils and hardships. These ideas persist today with superstitions associated with cats, especially black ones. Today, the cat as a metaphor for female sexual depravity and social unruliness has all but vanished. While cats have increasingly won our hearts as pets, their long-standing association with women and female sexuality is still implied by slang terms like cat house, even the term catty, which I've never heard being used to describe men. Finally, why are witches so prevalent in representations of Halloween? This holiday is associated with the Celtic Samhain, just one pagan holiday that was absorbed by Christianity in its bid to convert. This was a time when the barriers between this world and the supernatural realm were quite porous, allowing more opportunities for interactions between humans and the other world. Since necromancy has been considered the domain of witches, it shouldn't be surprising that witches and their black cats are the foremost symbols of Halloween. So show cats some love this Halloween. They've survived persecution and an undeserved reputation for centuries. Although sometimes they can still be considered little devils.